Hey guys, Latin Mafia here, and today I decided I'm gonna show you how to get the best quality of out of your Aver Media, Aver TV, HD, DVR. Now I've looked on YouTube, I've looked on the web, and nobody helped me. Well, next to nobody, <clears throat> I found the very few that were actually helpful, and that led me to making this video because it was all scattered information and I decided that I'm gonna make one video for you guys that will show you how to get the best quality out of your Avermedia uh, HD um, DVR now there's no converting there's none of that so get that out of your mind right now because I know some people were saying that oh the hodgepodge is better because you don't have to convert you can just put it into Sony Vegas yeah, I buy, I found a way to bypass that, so uh, stay tuned and I will show you. First up, I'm going to show you the settings you have to show or you have to put on uh, your Xbox or PS3. So let's go to that right now. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go on your Xbox or your PS3 and you're going to want to go to all the way to your system settings. Now, I don't know what it is on the, the PS3 probably to the left I'm, if I'm correct but uh, go to your system settings and then go to your console settings or whatever you call it on the PS3 then go to display then uh, make sure you have it at 720p you can have it at 720 um, 1080i but it's not gonna look as good because it'll be uh, interlaced that's what the I stands for I stands for interlaced and P stands for progressive scan that means no no lines in like the characters and stuff like that um, so 720p is actually better in than 1080i I mean you could go to 1080p but your any HD capture card or DVR or PVR it doesn't record 1080p I mean I'm pretty sure there's some out now or that will come out soon but they can cost a hefty price so uh, um, yeah if you have the Aver TV so um, you can uh, you have to use that so put on 720p it's better for your quality and it'll just make things easier alright what we're gonna do next is we're gonna open up the actual capture software which is uh, Total Media Extreme 2 which came with the software I mean which came with the Aver Media and you download it I'm pretty sure if you haven't you should download it because you need it um, yeah so let's open this up oh, let's open this up and uh, let's go to record video now I already have uh, my stuff set up so I'm recording some Halo Reach um, yeah so what you wanna do is you want to uh, have this at a uh, YPBPR that just shows you that you're using the component cables and this is composite this is S video and that's not what you use you use the component cables um, you wanna have it I'm pretty sure you can't choose anything else because that's the setting you have it as on your console so uh, leave it at one I mean 1280 by 720 uh, same thing here use constant bit rate not variable bit rate I know people use variable bit rate um, for uh, for some cases but for me I use constant bitrate and uh, you wanna put it at uh, 8,000 bits per second 8,000 kilobits per second um, you can go a little higher if you want but for me what I've gotten used to is just leaving it at 8,000 uh, you can leave this this and um, this might be something else I'm not sure but if it is just move it all the way to three three hundred eighty four kilobits per second because that's uh, the audio and you want a good audio as well you can put the enable preview so that way you can see this while you're recording uh, hardware acceleration yes because you want to get the full quality and not uh, patchiness you can leave this at 20 I think it's already at 20 when it starts but uh, you can lower if you want but I find it best to just leave it at 20 um, so yeah, I'm gonna just capture a little bit for you just to show you um, How it works. I'll show you this clip when I'm done 
when I'm done with the actual thing, I'm just throw a few grenades. Shoot around a bit, let me jump, let me run. Woohoo! This. Alright, there's not gonna be any sound in this part, but when the video is over, um, uh, you'll hear the sound. Alright, so I'm gonna stop it because I'm done with it. And now I got my uh, stuff. Now you can put it to, to record. I mean, the you can put it so that way it goes into a, a, a separate folder, a specific folder, I should say. And um, I think this is just easier, so that way I know where it is, because it goes into some folder, random folder, and um, that can get annoying. I know. So you can close this out now. Before, because I had done a video before on uh, the settings for. Uh, the Aver Media uh, capture card, but um, uh, my previous account got taken down for uh, reasons I sh will not discuss in this video. Um, yeah, so in that video I did before, I had to convert the video into uh, a file that we could use because for some reason Sony Vegas wouldn't take it. Well, I have found a way to bypass the converting and have Sony Vegas take the file as is unaltered and um because the file is a TS file and if you look around on the internet I'm sure you have if you uh if you're as concerned as I was you would see that other people were having problems too but nobody gave a direct answer they were always saying download codex or do this or do that and it just got plain annoying so I searched I searched, I searched, I did all the trouble for you guys, um, and I found a way to get past that 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 error that it was giving you. Um, so what I what I found was a guy I I don't remember what his YouTube name was, but he was on YouTube. He had a, f a, s a special Sony Vegas uh, download. Um, no, not a download, a version of Sony Vegas. It was custom version that he made, I'm pretty sure, that uh, would allow Sony Vegas to read the TS files. I have it right here. It's Sony Vegas 9. I mean, it's not 10. He might have a 10 out there somewhere. You could find it. You could go try and find it if you want. But um, I'm going to have the Sony Vegas 9 version in the description so you can download and install yourself. I mean, um... It's it's worth it. I mean, there's really no difference between Sony Vegas Pro 9 and Sony Vegas 10. Um, not that I've seen. Besides the 3D, I guess the 3D uh, you can make 3D uh, videos with Sony Vegas 10. But other than that, there really is no difference. Um, 